What's going on everybody and welcome back. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today I'm going to be going over all the upcoming releases for New Comic Book Day, May 18th, 2022. We've got a ton of awesome books to go over and varying covers, so let's jump right into it. All right, everyone. So super quick before I get started off on this week's new comics, I just want to give a huge thank you to all of you, the community. Thank you so much for all the support you guys have given me over the last couple of years. I love making these videos. I love talking comics with you guys. So I really do appreciate all the support. And as always, as I begin to talk about these books, just be aware, some of these books might not be coming out this week for new comic book day. There's still a ton of delays and just shipment issues. So once it gets closer to new comic book day, just check with your LCS, see which ones are actually going to be getting in. So to kick this list off first, I'm going to be going over my favorite comic book publisher we've got AWA Upshot they've got one coming out this week it's Hit Me issue number three and this one only has a cover A the first two issues I thought they were fantastic I really like the artwork as well the story has progressed very well too definitely try to find those back issues if you can moving on we've got Aftershock Comics and the first one is the start of a brand new series we've got Spectro issue number one this is cover A, the main cover. We've got a Nat Daddy Collectibles variant, but this one also has a Virgin variant available as well. And now finally, we have a 1 in 10 Doe Incentive variant. Moving on, we have Land of the Living Gods, issue number 4, and this one only has a cover A. The only other one they've got this week is Kaiju Score, Steal from the Gods, issue number 2, and same thing, this one also only has a cover A as well. Moving on to Archie Comics, we've got one brand new story on the way. It's World of Betty and Veronica, Jumbo Comics Digest, issue number 15, and this is cover A, the main cover for this one. The only other one they've got this week is the start of a brand new series. We've got The Fox, Family Values, issue number one. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Casutis variant, and now finally a Stadium Comics exclusive. Next up is Scout Comics, and the first one is Distorted, issue number three, and this one only has a cover A. Followed up with that, we've got the start of a brand new arc. I am so pumped for this one. It is back. We've got the Recount Preamble, issue number one. I highly recommend that first volume. Try to find the trade paperback if you can, and this is cover A, the main cover for this one. Moving on, we have Vault Comics, and they have the Blue Flame, issue number eight coming out. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Yoshitani variant. Next up is Titan Comics, and the first one today is Blade Runner Origins, issue number 12. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Hervas variant, and now finally a cover C, Hack variant. Next up is Doctor Who Origins, issue number 1. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Glow in the Dark variant. A cover C, Yoshitani variant, and now finally a cover D, Photo variant. Moving on to Mad Cave Studios, we've got Wolven Heart, issue number 13 coming out. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B variant. The only other one they've got this week is Speed Republic, issue number four. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got another cover B variant. Next up, we've got a Holy Comics, and they have one brand new series on the way. It's The Wrong Earth, Purple, issue number one. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a 1 in 5 Ordway incentive, and now finally a 1 in 10 hot incentive variant. Continuing on, we have It's Alive, and they have Strange Attractors, issue number 13 coming out. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B retro variant, and now finally a cover C Steve Conley variant. Next up is Source Point Press, and the first one is Good Boy, issue number one. This is the director's cut for this one. This one has 10 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Department of Truth homage variant, and now finally an Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 129 homage variant. Next up is Cover of Darkness, issue number 5. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, McDaniel variant. The only other one they've got this week is the start of a brand new series. It's My Brother Teddy, issue number 1, and this one only has a cover A. Moving on, we have Zenoscope, and the first one is Myths and Legends Quarterly, Jasmine. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Riviero variant, and now finally a cover C, Tau variant. Next up is Van Helsing, Bloodborne, issue number 1. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B Otero variant, and now finally a cover C Lama variant. The only other one they've got this week is the start of a brand new series. We have Bell, Labyrinth, issue number one. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B Diaz variant, and now finally a cover C Lama variant. Moving on to Valiant, they have Armor Clads, issue number three on the way. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B Wally Uden variant. A cover C Spot Color Hutomo variant, and now finally a cover D Yoon Pre-Order Bundle variant set. The final small indie publisher I'm going to be talking about this week is Oni Press, and they have one coming out this week. It's Season of the Bruja, issue number three, and this one only has a cover A. So out of all those small indie publishers I just got done talking about, the only ones that I plan on grabbing are Hit Me, issue number three, and Recount Preamble, issue number one. But next up, let's talk about Image Comics and Boom Studios. 
All right, folks, so to kick things off with Image First, we've got King Spawn, issue number 10. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Blank Sketch Variant, and now finally a cover C, Fernandez Sketch Variant. Next up is Oblivion Song, issue number 36, and for those of you reading this series, this is the series finale. I'm really excited to get that final hardcover. I'm just going to reread it all at once, and this one only has a cover A. Moving on, we have The Walking Dead Deluxe, issue number 39. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Adlard and McCage variant, and now finally a cover C, Platt and McCage variant. Continuing on, we've got Rain, issue number 5. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Ward variant, a Rubbles variant, and now finally a 1 in 50 Thorough Good Incentive variant. If you are reading Rain, I want to hear your opinions on this one down below in the comments section. I've heard some fantastic things, but as of late, I only really heard a lot of positive things about the first few issues, and everyone seemed to have kind of dropped off from it, so I don't know if maybe it got bad or just... People aren't talking about it as much, but I want to hear your opinions. Next up is Slumber, issue number three. Those first two issues were fantastic. I am so pumped for this one. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a Rice variant. Next up is Image, issue number two, and this one only has a cover A. Moving on, we have A Town Called Terror, issue number two, and this one only has a cover A as well. I did read the first issue. I really like the artwork, but as far as a first issue goes, I kind of wanted some more story, but it is a horror series, had a little bit of a mystery to it. I am definitely going to be picking this one up as well. Next up is Bolero, issue number five, and this is the series finale. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Vachio variant. Next up, this is the start of a brand new series. It's I Hate This Place, issue number one, and it says in the description, this is for fans of Gideon Falls and Homesick Pilots. I love Gideon Falls thought it was fantastic. I read the first, I think, seven issues of Homesick Pilots as well. I liked the first arc. I wasn't sold on the second arc, so I ended up dropping it, but I was definitely going to go back and reread it as just a hardcover or trade paperback, but I am definitely going to be picking this one up. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we have an F This Place variant. Next up is New Masters, issue number four, and this one only has a cover A. The final one coming up from Image this week is Lego Ninjago, Garmadon, issue number two. This one does have a first appearance, and this one only has a cover A. So out of all those issues coming out this week from Image, I'm definitely going to be getting Slumber, issue number three, A Town Called Terror, issue number two, and I Hate This Place, issue number one. So moving on to Boom Studios, the first one is House of Slaughter, issue number six. This one has 12 different covers. You guys know I absolutely love Something Is Killing the Children. This one is just all right in comparison, but I guess it does just fill the void while there's no Something Is Killing the Children coming out, but I hope this one picks up a little bit more. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Deladera variant, and now finally a Carnivore Comics exclusive, but be sure to check the other ones out as well. There's a lot of very nice covers this week for it. Moving on, we have Power Rangers, issue number 19. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Nicolo Legacy variant, a cover F, Lobo FOC reveal variant, and now finally a cover H, Valerio variant. Those were the only variants that they shown for Power Rangers 19, but based on it being, you know, a and then B and all of a sudden F and H. There's definitely some other covers available. They're just not ready to be shown yet, I guess. Next up is Alice Ever After, issue number two. I thought the first issue was pretty good. I'm definitely going to continue on with it. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Marini variant, and now finally an FOC reveal variant. Next up is Angel, issue number five. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a 1 in 10 Malavia Virgin variant, and now finally we've got a 1 in 25 Lindsay Incentive variant. Next up is Faithless, Volume 3, Issue Number 4. This is cover A, the main cover. Now, this one's not available yet. It is a cover B, Erotic Anka variant. This is one of those just black bag variants, so obviously they're not going to be able to show it off yet. And now the final one coming out from Boom Studios this week is The Vampire Slayer, Issue Number 2. This one's got six different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Frank Cavilla foil stamp variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Glenn Dining 25 years of Buffy incentive variant. Those are all the issues coming up from Boom this week. I'm definitely going to be getting House of Slaughter issue number 6 and Alice Ever After issue number 2. But next up, let's talk about Dark Horse, IDW, and Dynamite. So, first up this week from Dark Horse is Black Hammer, Reborn, issue number 12. This is the series finale for this one. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Allen variant. Next up is Critical Role, Vox Machina, Origins, issue number 6, and this one only has a cover A. Next one this week is Count Crowley, Amateur Midnight Monster Hunter, issue number 2. And same thing, this one also only has a cover A. Followed up with that, we've got Breakout, issue number 2. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we have a cover B, Phillips variant. Now, this next one, this is the last one coming out from Dark Horse this week, but it is the start of a brand new series. We've got Shaolin Cowboy, Cruel to Be Kin, issue number 1. This is cover A, the main cover. 
We've got a Darrow variant and now finally a Mignola variant. I won't be picking up any of them from Dark Horse, so moving on to IDW, the first one is the Transformers, issue number 43. And based on the description, it sounds like this is going to be the series finale. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B Deer variant, and now finally a 1 in 10 incentive variant. Followed up with that, we've got Usagi Yojimbo, issue number 28. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a 1 in 10 Schweitzer incentive variant. The last one coming out from IDW this week is TMNT, Best of Rat King, issue number one. So this is just a one shot, and this one only has a cover A. I won't be grabbing any of those issues. So moving on to Dynamite, the first one this week is NYX, issue number six. This one has 16 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Dagnito variant, and now finally a cover C, Vigante variant. Continuing on, we have Jennifer Blood, issue number eight. This one has five different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Linsner variant, and now finally a cover C, Lyrics variant. This next one, this is the last issue coming out from Dynamite this week. It is the start of a brand new series. We've got Red Sonja and Battle Fairy and the Yeti, issue number one. This one's got 44 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Basolda Blood Red Virgin variant, and now finally a Basolda Close Up variant as well. Check out some of those other covers, there are a ton of awesome ones. I don't plan on grabbing any of them from Dynamite this week, so next up let's talk about DC Comics. So DC's definitely having a little bit lighter of a week coming up, but the first one today is The Flash, issue number 782. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Knock Cardstock variant. Followed up with that, we've got Batman Superman, World's Finest, issue number 3. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B Perio cardstock variant, a 1 in 25 Sarmento cardstock incentive variant, and now finally a 1 in 50 Corona Chibi cardstock incentive variant. Moving on, we have Batman of the Night, issue number 5. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B Federici cardstock variant. Moving on, we have Catwoman, issue number 43. This one's got 9 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B Frizzin cardstock variant, and now finally a Besh variant A. Next up today is Nightwing, issue number 92. This one's got five different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Campbell cardstock variant, and now finally a cover C, Bartel AAPI cardstock variant as well. Moving on, this is a one-shot. We've got Shadow Warzone, issue number one. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B, Porter X-Men homage variant, and now finally a cover C, 1 in 25, Lyrics incentive variant. Followed up with that, this is the start of a brand new arc. The series is back. We've got Fables, issue number 151. This is cover A, the main. We've got a cover B, Buckingham cardstock variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Tedesco cardstock incentive variant. Moving on from there, we've got Wonder Woman Evolution, issue number 7. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Frank cardstock variant. Next one this week from DC is Earth Prime 4, Stargirl. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a cover B, Photo cardstock variant. So now for this next one, this is the final issue coming out from DC this week. So I told you they were having a very light week compared to some of the last ones. But we've got Looney Tunes, issue number 266, and this one only has a cover A. I don't anticipate on picking up any of those issues from DC this week, so now let's finish this video with Marvel Comics. All right, you Marvel fans, to kick this list off first, we've got Thor, issue number 25. It says that this one continues from Hulk vs. Thor, Banner of War Alpha, issue number one, and it's continued in Hulk, issue number seven. This one has 13 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a limb variant, and now finally a green variant. Next up is Wolverine, issue number 21. This one's got five different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Masafar variant A, and now finally a Stegman variant. Continuing on with Marvel, we've got X-Force, issue number 28. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a Peach Momoko Stormbreakers variant, and now finally a Sean variant. Continuing on, we've got Fantastic Four, issue number 43. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a U Spider-Man variant, and now finally a Silva concept art variant. Next one today is New Mutants, issue number 25. This one's got 11 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Chu variant A, and now finally a Mercado variant A. Moving on, we have Immortal X-Men, issue number 2. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got an Andrew Spider-Man variant. A Noto Quiet Council variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Rise Incentive variant. Next one today is X-Men, Red, issue number 2. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got an Araco variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Kamenkoli Incentive variant. Next one is Eternals, issue number 12. This is cover A, the main. We've got an Adams variant, a Scroll variant, and now finally a LaRocca for Shadow variant. Moving on, we have Silk, issue number 5. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a Lopez Fortnite variant, 
a new scroll variant, and now finally a wood variant. Continuing on with Marvel this week, we've got Venom Lethal Protector, issue number two. I actually really like that first issue. I wish this one, as of the first issue, I wish this one was the new ongoing, and the current Venom one was just kind of a little mini-series. I don't really think that series is that good at all right now, but this one started off very strong. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a cover B variant. A Kirkham Variant A, and now this one also has a Kirkham Variant B as well. Moving on, we have Star Wars Dr. Aphra, issue number 20. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a Cummings Variant, and now finally a Renaud, Traitor of the Dawn Variant. Next one is Spider-Punk, issue number 2. That first issue was awesome. The paper quality was absolute garbage on it, but the story really surprised me. I wasn't expecting it to be good, but I absolutely loved it. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Ba Variant. And now finally, a scroll variant. Next up is Wolverine Patch, issue number two. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a tan variant. Continuing on with Marvel this week, we've got Star Wars, Han Solo and Chewbacca, issue number two. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got an Adams variant, and now finally, a 1 in 25 Hughes incentive variant. This next one is Iron Fist, issue number three. I thought the first two issues were pretty good. I wouldn't say it was some massive home run from Marvel by any means, but definitely not bad. Check it out if you're having a light week. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a Chung Design variant. Next one today is Elektra, Black, White, and Blood, issue number four. In the description, it kind of sounds like there's going to be a first appearance, but I feel like they probably really wouldn't put a first appearance in one of these Black, White, and Blood series, but I don't know what Marvel's up to based on the description. That's what it sounds like, so take that for what it is if you're a speculator. This is cover A, the main cover. We've got a Peach Momoko variant, and now finally a 1 in 25 Eastman Incentive variant. Next one is The Marvels, issue number 10. This is cover A, the main cover, and followed up with that, we've got a 1 in 25 U incentive variant. And now for this next one, we've got the start of a brand new series. It's Savage Avengers, issue number 9. This one's got 9 different covers. This is cover A, the main. We've got an Albuquerque variant, and now finally a Cam and Coley teaser variant. Continuing on with Marvel, we've got Excellent, issue number 3. This is cover A, the main, and followed up with that, we've got a Dragota variant. This next one, this is the final one coming out from Marvel this week, so they're having a pretty big week, but not really a big one for me. We've got Marvel's Voices Identity, issue number one. This is cover A, the main. We've got a Sakai variant, a Wu variant, and now finally a Lee variant. Out of all those issues I just got done talking about, I'm going to be grabbing Thor, issue number 25, Venom Lethal Protector, issue number two, Spider-Punk, issue number two, Wolverine Patch, issue number two, Iron Fist issue number three, and I'm probably going to grab the Savage Avengers issue number one. I guess it is going to be a pretty big week for me for Marvel, but now let's do a recap of the comics. So what do you guys think about this week's upcoming new comic book day? In my opinion, there's not a lot of books that I'm really looking forward to. AWA's got Hit Me, issue number three on the way. I really like those first two issues. From Image, they're having a pretty light week as well, but they are coming out with a brand new series in I Hate This Place. It said for fans of Gideon Falls and Homesick Pilots, I'm a huge fan of Gideon Falls. Homesick Pilots is pretty solid too, so I'm definitely looking forward to that one. But Slumber slumber issue number three that is going to be such a fun one i love the artwork and it's just a nice story too it's a little bit more on the gory side it is a horror series but at the same time they keep it a little bit light with some comedy too check it out if you didn't have an opportunity to find those back issues before the only other one that i'd say that i'm honestly looking forward to is going to be spider punk issue number two the first issue was way better than i thought it was going to be not a big fan of the thor series and other than that wolverine patch was all right as far as the first issue goes we're gonna see how the rest of my week goes as well but i want to know which books you're looking forward to most and which ones you think i should be picking up as well and thank you for watching this video if you did enjoy it be sure to hit that thumbs up button it really does help out and if you don't miss out on any of my upcoming content go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and the little bell to get notified every time i drop new content you won't regret it and i've got two more videos sitting off the side here with more of my comic book content click on one of those and i'll see you in the next one have a great day